My name is Karen Boniker, and I'd like to welcome you to a new feature in Painter 2022 called Watercolor Compatibility. Painter has broken down some of those boundaries for mixed media creators who want to combine watercolor with other art forms. And you're going to find that many of the default brushes are now compatible with watercolor layers. So this is going to allow you to fuse dry media and watercolor brush marks on the same layer. This is huge. So just look for that watercolor layer compatibility icon in the brush selector when you're choosing a brush for mixing. But I also want to show you another opportunity now that helps you identify brushes that you can easily use on your watercolor layer. First of all, what I'm going to do is take my canvas layer with my painting on it and right click and choose lift canvas to watercolor layer. And you'll notice now that although the composite method gel has changed, the brush marks are all still there. Nothing has changed on my layer. My thick paint, my gouache, my chalk, my pencil, everything is still there. So let's take a look now at some of the scenarios that will help you to get started. In this example, I have a painting where I would like to add some additional brush marks, such as watercolor or texture or gouache and for the most part, textures. I'm going to lift the image to the watercolor layer to get started. The image is retained and looks the same. But how do I know which brushes are compatible with my watercolor layer? What if I want to add something like chalk or oils? Well, for Painter 2022, you can now filter to help you choose the brushes that are compatible with the layer you are working on. And let me show you how that's done. What you'll do is go up to the brush categories and open the flyout option, which opens up the brush panel. Going over to the far right, we now have this option called filter brushes. Now I'm looking for brushes that will paint on a watercolor layer. So I'm going to select watercolor compatible. And what it's going to do is populate my brush categories now with all brushes that will work on the watercolor layer or are compatible on the watercolor layer. Even if you have custom brushes that you have brought in to Painter 2022, it will also filter those brushes and include those brushes that you can work on a watercolor layer. So one of my favorites, for example, the Pastel Gold, which is one of my favorite brushes, I can now go ahead and use on a watercolor layer. When I start to paint, I'm going to get a compatibility dialog that's going to come up. On that, you have the option to paint on a new default layer, or you can continue painting on this layer. Note that some brush strokes may look a little bit different than expected. If this is something you will want to do on a regular basis, you can select Remember This Preference and then select OK. So when I start painting now, notice that I'm using my just uh, my pastel gold standard brush. And as I paint in, you can see that this certainly doesn't look like watercolor. <laughs> you can tell the difference right away. And so anywhere where I want to enhance the painting, Perhaps I want to bring out this little fence line a little bit more or some detail around my door. I can certainly use my wonderful pastel gold. Now I can also 
go in and continue to work with other watercolor brushes. So for example, I love the Sumier watercolor brushes. And so I may want to work with these brushes on this painting. And I can continue to go into this painting using the liner brush, for example, and adding watercolor brush marks where I would like. So this gives you great, great flexibility. This is the workflow that you would anticipate using if you were wanting to work on watercolor or add watercolor to a more traditional painting that was done perhaps in oils or acrylics. But let's take a look at another scenario. Here is a watercolor painting that I want to add some traditional brush marks to. Perhaps I want to add some splats or some extra texture. Again, what I have done is made sure that I have brushes that are compatible with my watercolor layer and I use the filter to find them. Now this time I am going to select one of my favorite brush categories, Oil Bravura, and I'm going to select the brush called Brushy. I'm going to make the brush a little bit larger here, but this time I'm also going to add the Capture Dab option. So with the Capture Dabs open now, what I can do is cycle through some of these and find one of my favorite brushes for adding splats. And it's a, called Splatter Dab, and it's a Capture Dab. And what I want to do is just add a little bit of texture to um, my watercolor painting. So I'm going to make a nice big brush here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of texture here and there. And I'm just sampling some of the color I see. And a lot of times at these extra texture marks just add some nice richness and texture to the piece. And you can do it very sparingly. The other option that I like doing here, and I'm going to reset the brush one more time. For example, I may want to add some birds flying along the coast here. But I don't want them necessarily to be in watercolor. I want them to be in one of my, using one of my capture dabs with perhaps again the brushy brush uh, in Bravara. So I'm going to go ahead and go to some of my uh, brushes where I know I have some birds. And I'm going to select one of those birds and then do a couple of sample brush marks here. And I want to make sure that I have a lighter color. And I think those look pretty good. And I'm just going to go ahead and dab those on where I want them. So maybe right about there. So you have to be pretty sure about what you want to do on this layer it doesn't allow you necessarily the ability to uh, erase on this layer because of course you would be taking off anything that's on that watercolor layer. So best case scenario, if you know what you want and you're, and you're able to achieve what you're looking for here, you can always control Z or command Z out. But if you want to experiment a bit before you add the option to the watercolor layer, of course you can always add a new layer, test it, and then make sure you have what you're looking for. Let's take a look at one other scenario. I love the effect of watercolor and ink and being able to combine the two now makes a huge difference. 
uh, for me when I develop these Sumier style paintings. You'll notice again that I've selected the watercolor compatible option and if I want to clear the filters all I need to do is select clear filters and that will clear out all the filters that I currently have selected. But I'm going to go back to watercolor and I'm looking again for um, these brushes here there's a brush category called Sumier Buildup, and these are brushes that are actually compatible on the watercolor layer. And one of my favorites in this brush category is the Detail Worn Brush uh, in the Buildup category. Um, my idea here was to add a little darker values using this brush to the bamboo that's in the foreground area here. And so I'm using it just really sporadically and gently in certain parts of the painting uh, just to enhance. And this is um, just an, a really nice feature to be able to have and to work uh, with these brushes. Now I certainly could go in and continue to add other brushes because this is a Sumier style. I probably would want to keep it with watercolor and ink type brushes. So I can expand that search to go into the pens category and there are certainly brushes here let's look at that again that we could uh, that we could choose from so the variable tip is a good one in terms of being able to create uh, the look of branches and this is all done with ink so that makes it um, very very compatible with a watercolor approach here. So you can see that in Painter 2022 you have the option to work on watercolor layers with mixed media and it opens up a whole level of creativity that uh, you may not have experienced before and I think you're just going to have a lot of fun with it. So happy painting!